He does not look like a cartoon dinosaur. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class, Dino! So here we are. And there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right up front, we got Dino looking all mirage -y. his name is Autobot Dino. Hey, look, he's from a movie, Transformers. On this side of the box, we have Dino. On this side of the box, we have a Dino again. He is a deluxe classic, classic, deluxe, deluxe, classic, deluxe, classic, deluxe, oh, 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 top Transformers, Dark of the Moon. On the bottom, words, things, barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. The high speed chase, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along here, we have Dino, the latest of our new Studio Series Deluxes, and here he is in his vehicle mode, a nice red sports car, and um, yes, he's not the kind of car that he's supposed to be, but, you know, unfortunately, Hasbro has to do things the official way, so if they don't have permission to reproduce a uh, real-life, you know, you know, licensed vehicle, then they, they, they just can't. <laughs> they don't have permission, they can't do it, so this is the best they can do as far as a compromise goes to get him looking somewhat, you know, Dino-y, you know, hey, it is what it is, but they gotta do things the legal way, but let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You have some nice black right up front there for the grill. You got the headlights there, done in silver. You have some nice tinted Transclear and plastic there for the windshields and windows. We got some nice silver there for the rims. In the back, we got some black, some more black. And there is the top, there is the bottom. He rolls as rolling things should. Hooray, hooray for rolling. And for comparison, here he is with Studio Series Bumblebee. Here he is with. Roadbuster. Here he is with Prime. And here he is with the uh, upscaled alien attack farage. As you can see how oh, that works out. So, there you go. Now, as far as accessories go, um, he does have his blade weapons, but they are stored inside the car. You can see I'm actually kind of peeking out right there from behind the windshield so some nice storage in there but uh yeah we'll show off how that works once we get down to transformation but yeah that is a pretty much it for the vehicle mode so let's get down to transformation shall we <laughs> let's you can get a good spin out of this guy so let us commence with the commencing so first thing you want to do is just Undo the doors, just kind of want to bring this back a little bit so you can undo these little tabs. Just open the doors up, you can see his legs folded up in there. Undo, open that up, and you want to come back here and untab these side sections here from the rear bumper. Just bring that all the way up and rotate it around. And once you've done that, you can take the legs and just swing them down. And then he just rotates his leg around, bring the foot down, take this thigh piece, just collapse that in, and there you have a leg all done. Second fast, just like the first, just rotate the leg, bring that down, bring that in, and there you pretty much have the lower body all done. And now we move on to the upper body. So I come up here to the front, and you just want to untab this section here. I oh, also want to untab his hands. His hands do tab together. So untab his hands. There's a little tab that goes like right up in here too, like right where his elbow is. So just undo all that. Undo all that. Get it all wiggle waggled. You want to bring the doors down too because otherwise it'll get in the way. So just swing the arm out and just rotate it up. Get that out of the way. Same thing here. Just give it a little wiggle wiggle wiggle. Get everything undone. Bring that out and rotate it up. And you just take the front grill section, and that will just fold down like so. And then we want to take this chest section and just bring this down 
like that. And we can just bring his head down also. And you can see right there where his blades store. They just plug in right there. Just take those out, put them off to the side, and we can continue. So, after you've done that, just want to take this whole hood assembly here, just rotate it 180. And now we want to come back down here. You want to get this hinge folded in like that. And basically all this is going to fold in and down like that. And the bumper section, you can see two tabs, two slots that will just plug in right there. Then you just bring the soot section down like that. Just gonna get those shoulders situated. At this point now we can just straighten out his arms. Just straighten them out, rotate. Rotate the hand, just straighten that out. Rotate, rotate the hand. And get the wings situated. Then you just bring this whole chest piece up. That will just clip in right up in here. Push that in, it'll snap into place. You can bring these pieces back and then you just come back here to the wings and this little panel here on the bottom will just flip up flip up just get those angled however you want and there you go there you have Dino aka Mirage in his robot mode that's a good looking figure in my opinion. You know, nice transformation. I like it. I personally dig him. Very nice. So let's get in close here so we can take a look not at his chest, at his noggin. Where's the noggin? There's the noggin. He has a nice Dino-y, a, a dino -y noggin. I got some silvers and some gunmetal grays in there. Small chest, his abs. It's like a little gray there in the shoulders as well, as well as here in the uh, detail in the forearms. Ooh, about his legs, maybe a little bit of that gunmetal gray. Going down the legs in there, to his feet. Maybe a little up the back. He got the door wings, as he should. Now, you know, it, it all compacts up pretty well. Not too bad, not too bad. So, there you have lots now articulation wise. Um, the head is on a ball joint, I believe. But you don't get any wiggly waggly just due to the shape of his head. But he can look up, can look down. He can be a squirrel, he can look up, look down. The head can rotate, but these, these side pieces here kind of get in the way. So, you only get about that far of a turn. Uh, shoulders are on a ball joint. You can do a full 360. They can move. In and now you can use that transformation joint also and have the shoulders sitting higher or lower, whatever you want to do there. You have bicep rotation. It's quite tight on mine, but you have bicep rotation. You have a nice deep elbow bend there. You do have wrist rotation. Uh, nothing at the waist, unfortunately, just due to how he transforms. Uh, legs can move forward. That far, you can do them high kicks. Back that far, outward. That far, um, you get a little bit of you know wiggle waggle there at the ball joint. You have rotation right above the knee. Yeah, about slightly under 90 degrees of bend at the knee, and the feet they can move up, and uh, that's pretty much it. And of course, we can give him his weapons. We can give him his blades, and we can take a close look at them now. You see, just done in black, and got some detail molded in there. And they do have these tabs, and I don't know what these tabs are for. I don't know, I don't know what these tabs are for. My initial guess was I thought that maybe, let me undo this. I thought maybe you could plug these onto the roof of the car, but um, the tabs seem to be too big for that. That was my initial thought. Like, oh, maybe you just plug these onto the roof of the car. Like, they, they, they kind of stay, like this one, this one stays in pretty well. This one, like, it seems like the tabs are too big. Like, this one doesn't want to stay in. So, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. That could be why those tabs are there, so you can plug them on the roof of the car. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know. It's the only guess that I have. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but, ultimately, it doesn't matter to me. I don't care. I'm going to plug them onto his arms, as they should be. I'll just plug in renders form like that. 
And like that, and there you go. These guys' blades, you can slash, 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 and all that good stuff. You can rotate them like that if you want to as well, but they're supposed to be kind of angled back like that. But hey, as always, it's yours. Display it however you wish. But there you have that. And now for comparison, here he is with Bumblebee. Ooh, something just occurred to me. Something just occurred to me. Oh, wait, hold on. Right, let me try something here. Wait a second, wait a second. Are these slots on his shoulders? Do they go here? Can you put them here? You can, I guess. Oh. Oh, it's okay. it's all right. Sorry, I just I just saw that and it just, you know, hey. Figured I'd test a theory. Who knows? Who knows? Hey. Okay. So, <laughs> moving on. Here he is with... Roadbuster. Here he is with Soundwave. Here he is with Prime. He's a little taller. Here he is with Sentinel Prime. Here he is with Megs. And here he is with the upscaled alien attack Farage. So you can see how that works out. So, there you go. And last but certainly not least, as always, we have the included base of displayage, which is in the box. Get out, get out. Woo. Open it up, and here we have the. Uh, the highway from the highway scene, oddly enough. <laughs> Number 71, Studio Series, Transformers, Dark of the Moon logo, all that good stuff. And we can take Odino here. And we can plop him down. And as always, hey, it's a nice little display. If you want to take advantage of it. So there you have Dino, and uh, yeah, nicely done figure in my opinion. Um, you know, the vehicle mode, even though it's not accurate, still looks good. The robot mode looks good. Um, the transformation is fun. It works. It's, uh, you know, just enjoyable to mess with. Um, you know, could use some more paint apps, but that's kind of the norm with these figures. I can always use some more paint, but otherwise, nicely done figure. I am quite pleased with him, so... There you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Studio Series figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Studio Series playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out End Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Dino. And this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Palm in your face. Hey, Prime, you talking to somebody today? Yeah, I'm talking to somebody today. What can I do for you? Uh, it's about the Bumblebee. Yeah, what about him? Uh, I don't know. It just seems like he's uh, getting, uh, getting an ego. Like he thinks he's the most important person on the team or something. Oh, oh, burn! Burn! Oh, man! Well, what did he say? Yeah, it's, uh, it's better you don't know. Yeah, well, you know, you know what? I'm not talking to you today!